The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host, who once more, once more, enters the breach. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. We got the uh, S and P basically, you know, up two points. Uh, Dow's down like 35. Nasdaq. Am I right here? Want to just make sure. Nope, that got turned off. So let's turn that back on. So I'm constantly updating. Uh, and what's actually updated? So I make sure that I tell you the right. Yeah, up to uh, Dow down 37. Nasdaq uh, 101 higher, one percent. Uh, that continues to be the trend, and that is if you're not involved in things uh, that can uh, get messed up, uh, the love is going to come your way. There's going to be, you will be the bell of the ball. Uh, again, um, this is kind of where I was thinking uh, that if we were going to have a big downturn uh, from the top of the market, it would start to happen now. Um, today is options uh, delta neutral day so far, and I'm not counting my chickens before they come home to roost. So far, they're looking for a slightly bullish bias into the 15th of the month. Now, historically, if you can make it into the 15th, then there probably isn't a big change coming to you until after Memorial Day. The other big thing that happens today, volume starts decreasing across the summer. And the old chestnut that has been around for hundreds of years in trading is do not be short a quiet market. Um, if I mean, there were some signs out there that would make you think that if we went lower today, I mean, significantly lower, uh, that we would have had a lot of very bearish signals. We are not getting that today. So let's say we got another day or so. Maybe I'm not one of these people that just says it's got to happen like this. Uh, there can be a little bit of fudge factor on each side of any kind of uh, pattern that comes out. Um, actually, in machine learning, uh, time distortion. And uh, a very interesting uh, set of algorithms that allow you to, uh, like an accordion at the top and the bottom, uh, change the relationship between the signal uh, and how long it takes over uh, and takes versus the time. A lot of times you see these signals and people say, this is the way it's got to be for candlesticks. Well, what if it's just slightly different? Does it still work well? Does it work just half as well? Does it not work at all? Does it just have to look exactly like that? Well, dynamic time warp distortion answers those questions. Uh, you can then test things to find out and uh, uh, most of what I do uh, for machine learning isn't coming up with some kind of silver bullet, but testing theories so that I know whether it is antidotal or if it's real or if it's Memorex, if you remember that commercial. Um, other things going on today. That's kind of it. Earnings have been incredibly bullish over the last uh, three or four days, for the most part, there are some of these stocks not moving lower. But uh, you know what? It's not all that bad. So uh, as the old saying goes to the guy that got caught uh, with uh, his girlfriend to his wife, are you going to believe me or your lion eyes? Well, if you believe trade what you see, as Larry Pesavento's 
great title says. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. And uh, that means the market had every opportunity to get hammered today. It did not. What does that tell you? We don't, uh, you know, could we get another 9-11 when bad things are happening? Generally, it attracts more bad things. But uh, at least from what I can see, there isn't anything in here uh, and no signals yet to pull the ripcord uh, and go all Mad Max uh, uh, out in the desert uh, with uh, uh, your cackling nitwits uh, driving cars at each other and uh, deciding that uh, cannibalism is the only option left to get any meat. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm looking on the bright side of life. So anyway, we'll keep an eye on this. Um, but at least what I did at 1 o'clock uh, showed that options basically have just a kind of a small bullish bias into the 15th. If that happens, I suspect that we can go all the way to uh, Memorial Day before we have a sea change in the way things are working. And of course, uh, probably the worst part of it, if you are bearish, is the declining volume. That will make the days to cover uh, jump uh, significantly a stock now with three days to cover uh, with a volume you're going to have on March 20, well, 26, when you come back, I guess. That's on a Monday. Uh, when uh, volume comes in or it goes out, you could have a, a stock with three days to cover. That is, if everybody that was short and nobody that was long just decided to buy their shares, how long would it take to get out? Let's say it's three days. It can easily be four and a half days by May 25th. The strategy for the big men of the street may be nothing other than to wait you out until the market is uh, got to that 25th. But generally, we do see some kind of change in a three-day weekend. But uh, you know what? I'm not all that bearish. I haven't seen any signals out here to be. Uh, the more people yell and scream about the end of the world, uh, the more the market goes higher. Uh, my theory is, uh, and we talk about it here roughly uh, every other day, when shorts quit shorting, that's when you worry about lower prices. As shorts continue to pile on, eh, you really don't get that fired up. Uh... <laughs> Enough with the negative waves, yes. Okay, so we're answering questions. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path, that's P-A-T-H, at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. We'll be looking at a lot of that stuff today. When we come back, we'll do a little bit of history, and then we'll go right into charts. But uh, yeah, relatively flat on the S&P. Dow's down eh, maybe a third of a percent. NASDAQ's still up 1%. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're going to go to Mike in uh, Niagara Falls. How are you doing today, Mike? Hi, thanks for taking my call. So what are we looking are at you? with Apple today? I'm looking to go short. <laughs> okay. Why would you want to do that? It just looks like it's just running out of steam on the upside. Okay. Okay. Long the strong, short the weak. Okay. Is is there a company with more money in cash than Apple? Uh-huh. Is there a uh, company that probably <laughs> going to see fairly decent sales across the summer? And next yeah. fall. Ah, you know what? I I could possibly see an option position uh -huh. or maybe expiration. I don't understand going short the equity. Is that what you're trying to talk yeah, about? Yeah, I was going to use the high of the day plus maybe but, 25 but, cents but, as my my um, my stop. But, okay. But, and uh, But you mean you talk know, about you're shorting the equity. Yeah, click. Click the sell short button on my uh, dashboard here. Close my eyes yeah, and I, cross my fingers I, and hope that it tanks. I well, first of all, you said a nasty word there, and that is hope. Um, do you have an abiding belief that this thing's going lower? I just think it's it's run out of gas. Do you have an abiding below uh, belief that this is going lower? Yeah, I, I just think the whole general market's going down, and uh, basically uh, it's going to tag along. Okay, I'm using that word very specifically. You have an abiding belief that this is going lower. Yeah. Okay. So you shouldn't listen to me. It is testing its previous high on lighter volume. You're getting uh -huh. into fund buying 80% of the time. The low of today will be the low a week from Friday. The fund buying is the first uh, five days no, of, no, the, not of the new this, month. Not the fund buying. This is options expiration. Okay, the option expiration. When you when you get into the uh, into the uh, eight days before expiration, uh, option money uh, is goes delta neutral. Today, yeah, it's weird. Wally Wednesday. Yeah, eighty okay. percent chance that in the next eight days that it will close higher than today. 
uh-huh. or around 300, we'll say, uh, it, it, just to put a little fuzzy factor on it. Um, uh-huh. I would like to see some kind of indication that one, they've got production problems, two, people aren't in, in those big lines around uh, Best Buy that I see aren't buying uh, new iPhones uh-huh. uh, with all this cash that they've been uh, shipped and uh, two, because I see a lot of people buying small stuff and big TVs. I'm assuming that some of that small stuff, eh, who made, who knows what it is, but um, I'm hearing antidotal stuff that a lot yeah. of that cash that went to people uh, in the lower economic tiers is going into iPhones. So uh-huh. I am not a big fan of doing it here. I see uh-huh. the chart. Uh, I look at it, but almost always uh, the days after options expiration, which is the 15th, is a better day to pick than today. Hmm. You've got oh, just, let me put it this way. You've almost got literally everything against you in this trade. You've got the, one of the strongest stocks in the market. It's got yeah. multitudes of cash that it doesn't need. There's no real sign that people are throwing their iPhones in the river. Uh, and as far as I can tell, there is enough anecdotal evidence that uh, says that after TVs, uh, buying laptops and uh, to work at home and new uh-huh. cell phones are the big items that are now selling um, at uh, that and uh, also being shipped directly at home or to home by uh, Amazon. So I'm not a big fan here. I see what you're looking at the chart. It's testing yeah. the previous high on lighter volume. Yep. I get it. I'm just saying that is there a stock out here that where the wheels are literally going to fall off the wagon if the market goes down. I think Apple still survives. Is there a stock that you could look at that you think is going to go broke that has a pattern like this? Oh, like a pattern like this? Yeah. Oh, I mean, light volume, uh, light volume testing. Oh, I have to research that. I'm just thinking that there's probably better low-hanging fruit than trying to go after Apple during options expiration week. Yeah. And two, I'd be looking for some kind of sign in the market, too, that I don't see yet. Uh, I know everybody suspects the market's going lower. That's yeah. why I went long, uh, whatever it was, a week ago. Um, I'm being rewarded. We're hitting new highs in the position I have. I see no reason to get out of it. I'll move my stop up if I'm wrong, but I don't see it. Um, there are plenty of stocks out there that look horrible. I'll, I'll give you that. Apple doesn't look great, but it doesn't look horrible. And the problem you always have is they can go back and buy their stock because they got $280 billion. They yeah, can support their lot. stock. They can support their stock longer than you can stay short. So I'm looking for stocks that if, if you're going to go short here, there's probably going to be a multitude of great short opportunities. And those are going to be stocks that, one, have a poor future for one or ever reason, like, you know, airlines, cruise ships, all that. Now, of course, everybody shorted them to death. But there are other stocks out there where people are going to, or I mean, where the companies are going to have futures equal to that, that people haven't talked a lot about. And guess what? They need to raise cash in a market where it's going to be incredibly hard to raise cash. You want people with cookbooks and people that aren't selling products. And How about Wayfair? Huh? Wayfair. Good example. Uh, Way is the symbol on that one, right? Yeah, W. Um, look at the move. Look at the parabolic move. Yeah, I looked at it yesterday or the day before. I'm not exactly sure why. What's the symbol on it? Just w. w. Okay. I typed way. Hang on a second here. Okay. The only thing I'd say about Wayfair is it's got two big gaps. Uh-huh. I would be watching for one more gap higher on this. And then that, that would be one that I would look at extremely hard for a potential three-gap play. Okay. Oh, the three-gap play scenario. Okay. Yeah, you've got one here at 60. You've got another one up here to one, uh, 160. 
right? And these are, on the, I mean, this is a perfect example. That's why I was looking at it. And I, I didn't look at it yet today. I was thinking the next gap higher on this one is the kind where this could easily, let's say it gaps up to like 210 or something. You could be right back down to 130-ish if you uh -huh. get that right. Now, let's, uh, let's check this out. I've got to find my thing. Everything's moved around. Here we go. Give me just a second. I keep on t uh, uh, typing way. Uh, it's got pretty okay. high short sales number. We're going to the break. Okay, um, thanks, thanks a lot. But uh, I, I was going to say, there's better ones out here. If this one would short, go one more higher. It's got four days okay. to cover. I would like I you know, to be, that's one that could fall in half on a gap higher. Oh, I think more. I think, I yeah. think even more. Yeah, okay. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're new to the show, um, yeah, we were talking about the three-gap play. If you want my white paper on it. Um, just go ahead and email me at path at tfnn.com. I probably need to update the white paper, but this goes back to Netflix circa 2013, something like that, 2014, uh, where it had gone up from like 200 bucks with three big gaps. On earnings, it went up to 400 bucks. Uh, we shorted it 
I think John in the den shorted it uh, that morning at 400 bucks. It closed that day at 300. The these big reversal patterns after three huge gaps higher um, is is an end is interesting to me. Um, but once you get two gaps, you generally look for the third, and you get another big third gap like this, uh, like these two big, the one at 60 and the one at, was it 130 to 165-ish? Um, you see those, you get generally get a third, and on that third one, if it gets up there and it has a little problem, uh, generally it'll hang up for three days up there. Uh, at that high, sometimes it just instantly falls apart. So you kind of have to take a leap of faith at the top. But you get up there, it gaps higher. There's not a lot of volume. It starts rolling lower. Just pull the trigger, put a stop at the high. Uh, but generally at that point, a company like Wayfair that has huge amounts of shorts in it, they're gone. They've all been run out. They've all had their margin call. And guess what? There's an empty shell left there. I'm not a big fan of Wayfair to begin with. Um, this tends to be more of a cult stock like Tesla, uh, but uh, without the uh, Barnum and Bailey CEO. To, to, to do, anyway, uh, email me at path at tfnn.com and I'll send that to you. But um, we've got a few of these over the years, and it's not a pattern. They're rare as hen's teeth. But if you get the setup you like, you get the volume you like. Uh, you pull the trigger, it's generally some really fast money, and a lot of times you can get options uh, on the open when these things gap really high, uh, where everybody's just literally washed out. Uh, the market makers and the options uh, basically make puts worthless, and uh, you can buy you know, some $0.10, cent, $0.25 cent, uh, options that are just maybe a few bucks below the highs if you get right in there at about 10 a.m., uh, but uh, we'll we'll continue to watch this uh, Wayfair, a good example of a three gap plate setup. Uh, but we need one more gap higher to pull the trigger. I would actually be afraid to go short Wayfair today. Next gap up though, that could look very sweet. Uh, I M M U. What is I M M U? Immunonics. Uh, same kind of thing. Okay. Uh, again, you got uh, the huge gap off the bottom on the, what, 6th of April. You got your second gap higher on the 23rd. Uh, and, of course, uh, you get another gap like that, which is uh, three, four bucks higher. Uh, you want to look for that. Now, the one downside is that this is, of course, a biotech. Uh, I wouldn't short any biotech that I wasn't using the uh, uh, wasn't using puts on. I wouldn't be shorting it with uh, uh, the buying or shorting the equity. Uh, it's just one that's very tough. And I know we didn't get to the history. I've got people already emailing me and complaining, so we will get that right now. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1937, the airship Hindenburg, the largest dirigible ever built in the pride of the Nazis, Germany, burst into flames upon touching its mooring mast in Lake Hurst, New Jersey, killing 36 passengers and crew members on May 6, 1936, 37, excuse me. And of course, uh, one of the interesting things about the Hindenburg was a thing called the Hindenburg Omen. I had the gentleman that actually... Uh, came up with it. Uh, it worked once. He gave it a, a flashy name, and uh, in the rest has been history. Uh, as uh, even the guy that came up with it said, it, it uh, was able uh, to forecast the next 20 of the two pullbacks in the market. Uh, a absolutely horrible batting average for it. But he said it didn't really matter because it made him famous. Uh, he said that, you know, he found it once somewhere it got around, it got it in a newspaper. And most importantly, it had a snappy name. And that's all that CNBC needed or any of the other folks. They kept feeding on the fact that this thing worked over and over again 
which in reality it did not. I think that that one in 10 times is probably correct. And of course, the guy that did it uh, is rather famous. I had him on my show, uh, but I talked to him an hour before I ever had him on my show. He was telling me that he knew how much of a, uh, of, uh, a media creation it was and how badly it worked. But uh, he was kind of a, I'm going to say he was a kind of a nut because uh, he, w- he basically said he was the only blind, uh, blind he was blind, blind uh, a sniper, uh, 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 rifleman in existence. He rigged up this rifle that would actually beep when it was pointed at the target. And uh, I don't know how that makes you a, a sharpshooter. Anyway, he had a bunch of other weird things going on. He was a nice enough guy, but, uh, you know, sometimes you only have to be right once in the market, which reminds me of, uh, uh, I want to say, George uh, Graziola, the baseball player. It's not, uh, I'm talking about the guy that lived in the city that I did, who was right once in uh, 1987 and uh, proceeded to give away a thousand percent of all the money he made in the next 13, 14 years of trading in his newsletter. But a lot of times that's all you have to be is right once in the market to be famous. And then from then on, you're a guest on CNBC. Okay, let's go back to some charts here. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can actually email me and I will answer. Uh, okay, we got a couple for the white paper. We'll send those out during the next break. Uh, okay, we've got a lot of people asking about if you were truly just 100% had to short Apple, would you short it at 310? And that would be a much better position than today. Uh, you're looking at the close of 313 on the 21st, my guess is this will easily close that gap. And again, um, I don't, you know, generally uh, stocks start going down when people quit shorting them. Uh, You have a company with $280 billion that uh, yesterday, the day before, had 18% short, Shorts during the day. Before that, the day before that, 22%. When they give up, it goes back down 15, 14, 13%. I think you have a much better uh, chance at it anyway. But uh, eh, there's a lot of reasons not to short it. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476. 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, question, is it possible the new pajama traders, which is a name that everybody's giving these people that uh, came uh, in the last four weeks to trading? Because, of course, they got no job now, sitting around thinking they can trade at home, make a million. Of course, a lot of ads on uh, YouTube and other things, I get them all the time. And, uh, oh, boy, these, uh, I mean, these ads are amazing. Eat, sleep, and trade. Eat, sleep, and trade. Eat, and trade. Eat, sleep, and trade, baby. baby. Anyway, these, uh, uh, anytime I hear that, uh, my instant fraud warning goes up. I have no idea how these people actually do. But uh, when they always uh, rent a jet for five minutes to film a commercial or they do something, I'm always very worried about what these people have to offer. Uh, but, uh, uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Well, let's do this while I've got here. Because I sent out everybody that asked a copy of that white paper. I've sent it off. If you don't get it, then request it again. Maybe I'll send you a link to it. Maybe it got caught in the spam filters. But I think I've got everybody that I sent one out to should have one now. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it. Oh, of course, uh, thanks, Pat. Uh, sent me a thing from the Apple Board of Directors. Does, uh, declared a cash dividend of 82 cents per share of the common stock uh, paid uh, and dividends payable on uh, May 14th. A lot of times people just hang on to that. They get the, the dividend. Um, uh, it's payable on the close of May 11th, which gives you another good reason not to short it today. And, of course, uh, the Board of Directors has also authorized an increase of $50 billion to the existing share repurchase program. Again, short the weak, go long the strong. You don't have to buy Apple here, but there's got to be, for every Apple out there, there's got to be 100 stocks that I think are better short candidates than Apple today. Again, probably want to wait until after the 15th in options expiration. And secondly, you probably also want to think about waiting it until after uh, some Memorial Day or Labor Day. It's Memorial Day in May. Okay. Uh, to, 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 okay, got that done. Okay. Oh, I already sent. The, ah, get away. These things are popping up left and right. Anyway, uh, we're basically flat on the S&P cash. Uh, Dow 30's down, eh, let's call it 40. Uh, the Nasdaq's still up 102. And not uncommon to see the market, especially in falling volume, slowly stumble its way up into the three-day weekend. Be advised, be warned. 
this uh, may be a long time before the re uh, market is truly ready and gives a signal to short it. But it's not uncommon, especially after the 10th of May, for the volume to significantly go lower. And that means that it's the exits get much tougher uh, with highly shorted stocks. And uh, generally, the shorts kind of slowly, one by one cover, putting the price a little higher, making more people cover, and eventually uh, hitting a crescendo on no volume going into the three-day weekend. It's happened more times than I can count. Now, I'm willing to change my position on a dime. I'm not married to it, but at the moment, I think that's the best interpretation of the facts I have in front of me. Okay, did that answer all my questions in the email? Oh, I got another one. These people, wow. it's a big day for the three gap play. Uh, so we'll send that out. Okay, and thanks again, Pat, for that on Apple. Okay, I got a few things going on here for a few time, a few things too many. Nasdaq's up 105. Okay, so let's go through the earnings as quickly as possible to see how these stocks did. Of course, well, we've got uh, more earnings out after the bell. Now yep, we've got three minutes. Um, let's look at the biggest ones here. Uh, Disney's going to reopen its park in Shanghai. Uh, I think that added a little bit of a bounce to it midday. Come on. There we go. Come on. Diz, right? Did I draw it right? There we go. Um, yeah, just kind of flat. Again, not a lot going on for it, and the future is probably not as bright as they paint it. Uh, those uh, big parks are going to be a drag on it for a while. Uh, Wyndham. Come on. Well, don't, not exactly sure. Haven't. Oh, there we go. Wyndham Destinations. Eh, stocks like that, probably a good idea. Uh, to, to waste management. I wonder if people are making more waste as they stay at home. Uh, down a little bit today, but I wouldn't say that that's any kind of huge signal, but probably tough. Wing spot. Uh, talk about stocks making new highs. If they're making new highs because everybody's staying at home, is that going to be a permanent position when people go back to work? Are they going to quit uh, after they've uh, eaten wings for the fifth time that week? Eh, I'd be looking for highs in some of these takeouts uh, in the next few weeks, too, when everybody gets back to work. Wendy's, I uh, heard a lot about this. Uh, doesn't seem to have bothered the stock price today. It's popped up and going to the April 29th high. Uh, TXMD, which is... Uh, Biotech. What else do we have? Shopify. Uh, I was wrong on this one. I thought maybe this one would be tough because it's a Canadian company. You've got new highs in this thing. And uh, why I'd like a little bit more volume, I think you still have time to get that before the end of the day. Uh, Regeneron uh, had a little gap higher. Again, making new, uh, actually, Replogen, excuse me, Argen, making a new high today in the biotech space. 126.78, It's uh, it could get the volume today. Still a long time to go. Uh, on my theme of once everybody's sick of eating takeout, uh, Papa John's uh, making a little bit newer high here. Uh, my guess is that uh, those restaurants that succeeded only in the last couple of months because of takeout uh, may have a little bit of a backlash when everybody starts going out to other restaurants that didn't deliver, maybe the ones opening back up. But uh, you had kind of a long march on this one. But I think people might be pizzaed out come summertime. So I'm kind of watching those for maybe some signs of some highs. Good volume here today, though. So no sign yet. When we come back, we'll talk about the earnings after the bell tonight and tomorrow morning and uh, wrap up the show.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And uh, yeah. I, I don't know, someone said that they're not going to, the Hamptons is not going to be at, the, I wonder if they're already at the Hamptons. I mean, I'd probably be, if I was stuck at home and I had a house on the Hamptons, I'd be out there right now. Why wouldn't you? But uh, yeah, come uh, Memorial Day weekend, I think they're all going to be there, hell or high water. There's no stopping New Yorkers getting to the Hamptons and rubbing elbows with the other rich and famous because, uh, as they say, they're just better than the rest of us. Uh, after the bell tonight, we've got Square, PayPal, Lyft, Twilio, Etsy. Is that right, Date? I want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, it is. Just want to make sure. I'll put it in the den here in a minute. Uh, Peloton Interactive, Grubhub. Probably going to be pretty good with them. Uh, but again, I think a lot of these companies, once everybody gets back, they're probably... Pretty close to making a high water market, don't you think? Wind Resorts, Solar Edge, Fitbit, Zynga, T Mobile, Fortnite, Marathon Oil, GoDaddy, uh, Albemarle, which I can never pronounce. I have to like go to the website, pronounce it four times to get it right once. Now, tomorrow morning, we got Plug Power, Teva Pharmaceuticals, Bristol Myers Squibb, Yeti Holdings. I always wondered about that one. The most expensive cooler in America. Uh, Bosch, 
uh, health companies, JetBlue, well, you know what's going to do that, Modern Era, Hilton Worldwide, Enbridge, you know, there are going to be a lot of winners and losers, Anheuser-Busch. Who doesn't think that people were drinking beer uh, like uh, Billy Carter? Was it Billy Carter had Billy beer? I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Roku, Uber. Man, we've got a whole bunch of them tomorrow night, too. It, the hits keep coming. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to.